Well, it looks like it was going to be a tie for England and Tunisia in the fifth day of the World Cup until England's captain Harry Kane had some last-minute heroics. Sarah Rainsford from our broadcast partners at BBC News has the details. Well, there was a roar of applause from the stadium here in Volgograd as the winning goal went in for England. A roar of applause, but relief as well, because it was a nail-biting second half. You know, this is a game that England were desperate to win, but Tunisia, of course, fighting too. I mean, there's a lot of Tunisian fans in town today. In fact, all day, they were the noisy ones. They were the ones singing and dancing and setting off flares here in the centre of Volgograd. Uh, tonight, though, in the stadium, the England fans were chanting and singing and bouncing too. Not so many of them perhaps maybe 2,000 uh, total. Uh, some England fans uh, found it a long way to come to, to Russia, especially here in Volgograd. Others were worried about the threat potentially of violence after trouble in Europe two years ago. But the atmosphere has been great, you know, not just in the stadium, but also in Volgograd too, all day. People partying and enjoying the football, enjoying the atmosphere here. Uh, people, local people, have been given the day off. And so there's a lot of Russians. In fact, most people in the stadium were Russians. Again, enjoying the game, enjoying the football and enjoying the atmosphere because uh, this is Russia's World Cup. But it's a chance for this country to uh, turn on the charm offensive, to show its best side to the world. And that's what people here hope that today's match and this whole World Cup can do. Elaine? Sarah Rainsford, thank you.